Isometric view of a circle. In this video, we will learn how to draw the isometric view of a circle in different planes. The XY plane, YZ plane, and ZX plane. We can observe that when we normally draw a circle on a plane, it appears circular. However, in the case of an isometric view, since the planes are visible at an angle, the circular shape looks like an oval. To accurately represent this tilted view of the circle in figures within engineering drawings, we follow a specific yet simple method. Let's delve into how to draw the isometric view of the circle in different planes. Consider the diameter of this circle to be 10 mm. This dimension can be anything, but for this example, let's assume it to be 10 mm. Imagine a square surrounding this circle, inside which the circle fits perfectly. In that case, the side length of the square will be equal to the diameter of the circle, which is 10 mm in this instance. Now, we need to draw this square on the plane where the circle is required to be drawn. The method is straightforward, so we will draw it simultaneously on all planes. When we draw this square in different planes, it looks something like this. You can draw it using a compass or drafter, depending on what is available at hand. Take a compass, adjust it to the radius of the circle, and draw an arc as shown. After this, join these points with light lines to get the outer square. Suppose we divide this circle into four parts. Then, when we draw this circle on the isometric planes, two of its quarters get squeezed, and two of them get wider. This makes the radius of the squeezed circle smaller and the radius of the wider circle bigger. To draw the arcs of these four quarters, we need to find the center points for these arcs. That can be done like this. Bisect all four sides of the square. and then join the diagonals for the square by connecting the opposite corner points of the square. In the end, join the endpoints of the smaller diagonal of the square with these four points. This is it. We have got the required centers for the arcs to be drawn. Now using compass, we can draw the isometric circle as shown. Remember the steps. Step number one, construct the square. Step number two, bisect all four sides of the square. Step number three, Draw the diagonals. Step number 4. Join the endpoints of the shorter diagonal with points bisecting the sides of the square. Step number 5. Draw the arcs. I trust that this video has provided valuable insights into mastering the art of drawing the isometric view of a circle across various isometric planes. For a more in depth understanding, consider enrolling in my comprehensive engineering drawing course available at adtwstudy.com or simply click the link provided in the description. Don't forget to show your support by liking and sharing the video. If you're new to ADTW study, hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all my latest content. Thanks for watching.